whenever you are ready guys. Now for the last one, we still want to do a few more minutes of standing posture. Inhale, keep your feet reasonably wobbly, just maybe keep them apart enough that you find your stable form. You want to keep them hip distance apart. Now this gives you a solid base. Now all four corners of your feet are firmly rooted. Inhale, reach up with your arms. Exhale, sit down like you're pretending to sit down in a chair, but you're not. You're not got the chair, you've got it there, but you're not sitting down. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, I sit down and my arms reach back. This is like that ski movement. And you're going to do this three more times. Inhale as I reach up. Exhale as I sit down. Inhale as I reach up. Exhale as I pretend to sit down. Inhale as I reach up. And this time as I pretend to sit down, I hold this posture so my knees stay bent. I reach forward. I reach back. I make sure, this is important guys, make sure your abdominal muscles are engaged. When I say they are engaged, make sure just firm up that muscle because all these muscles help you in your practice. The next time your arms reach forward, you're just going to twist open on either side two times. If you need the back of the chair, if you're holding on to the back of the chair, that's also a good option when you do this. Now, keep those knees bent. This is important. Bring your hands just above your knees, fingers on the inside. You're going to rotate your knee joints maybe four times in this direction and four times in that opposite direction. Very mindfully, very mindfully. And as I come back to the center, slowly stand up tall, bring your hands to your shoulders. Your feet are still apart. Now you can do all this posture sitting down, but I always like to give you that option of doing them standing up because you're using up more energy so you can also do them sitting down. Remember that, but I'm give, I will do them standing up and maybe the last few five minutes of our practice will be all seated postures. Hands by your, around your shoulders, eight fingers in the front, your thumbs in the back. Inhale, bring those elbows together. Exhale, open them out. Inhale, bring them together. Exhale, open them out. Inhale, bring them together. Exhale, open them out. One more time. Inhale, bring them together. And as you open them out, I want you to give me three circles. In this direction. And three circles in that opposite direction. Every muscle in my body working. Extend your arms out to the front. Open them out. Bring them back to the front. Open them out. One last time, bring them to the front. Rotate those wrist joints. Listen carefully. Now turn the palms to the front, fingers pointing up. Make a fist, unclench. Make a fist, unclench. The next time, I unclench. I take one hand and I pull those fingers towards me. I switch hands. One more time on my own. As I switch hands, I turn the palms to the from the, uh, to the sky. I let touch my shoulders. Inhale, I open them out. I touch my shoulders. Inhale, I open them out. One last time. I touch my shoulders. Now this is my last standing posture. Bring your hands to your waist. Now this is two things about this particular posture that we're doing. You can do this with your hands in the back of the chair 
I'm actually going to do this with the back of the chair so you have that option. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold, bring your hands to your waist. Now some of you may need the support of the chair. You're going to bend one knee, lift, bend that knee and lift that foot off the ground. Mindfully switch. So you notice that I've got my hands around my waist. If you need, you can use the support of the chair. And at your pace, you're going to do this a few more times. You're going to try to keep that spine tall. You're going to notice that one side, indeed, you're a lot stronger than the other. Now you've noticed me holding on to my waist or my hips. Now I'm going to do the same movement holding on to the back of the chair. Bend that knee, straighten the lift that in the foot off the ground. But this time you're going to give me, give a, give a side kick. Bend, lower. Bend as you switch. Kick as you breathe. Bend, lower. At your pace. Bend, kick, bend, lower. Bend, kick, bend, lower lower. Two more times. Bend, kick, bend, lower. Bend, kick, bend, lower. One last time. Bend, kick, bend, lower. Bend, kick, bend, lower. Slowly, for the last time, lift your heels. Lower the heels, lift your toes. Couple more times. Something that I would say, do this several times a day. And as mindfully, come and sit down in your chair, breathing as you do this. Very mindfully, you're going to give you, you're going to do three rounds of breathing technique. The first one, we're going to do about five to six breaths in each one. So this will be like the closing of your practice. Sit up tall. The first one is you're breathing through your nose and you're breathing out through the sliver in your mouth. Now I'm doing only six of these breaths here. You may do maybe 10, you may do 15, you may do 20. Do them as many as you're comfortable doing them. Don't do, don't force yourself, take a break in between breaths. The second one is you're going to be breathing. It's like you're doing this fire breath. The movement is all around, it's called fire breath. The movement is around your belly. It's like there is no inhalation, but there is a very subtle inhalation, but an active exhalation. It goes like this. Typically, I would say build yourself up to 20, 25 breaths if you can. This would be the second one. The third one is take the first two fingers, your thumb and your first finger. Inhale deep, close your right nostril with your thumb. Exhale out through your left nostril. Inhale through your left nostril, close. Exhale out through your right nostril. Inhale through your right nostril, close with your thumb. Exhale out through your left nostril. Inhale through your left nostril, close with your first finger. Exhale out through your right nostril. Inhale through your right nostril, close. Exhale out through your left nostril. 
Inhale through your left nostril, close. Exhale out through your right nostril. Inhale through your right nostril, close. Exhale out through your left nostril. Very mindfully, slowly. Keep your hands down. Breathing as I do this. We're going to kind of recap everything we do, did the important movements. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, bring them by your side. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, bring them by your side. One last time. Inhale, circle your arms up. Bring them by your side. Extend your arms up to the front. Twist open to the walls on either side two times. And as I come back to the center, your arms are on your legs. I cross my legs. I uncross my legs. I cross them the other way. And I do this a couple more times. Listen carefully. And as I do this one last time, keeping my knees crossed, I start with my eagle postures two times. Notice that we have done all these postures, but we are just doing them again because they are all important movement. Keep your legs crossed. Twist open to the walls on either side two times. As mindfully, uncross your legs, cross them the other way. Two rounds of eagle, please. Always a breathing class. I twist open to the walls on either side two times. As mindfully uncross my legs, I open them out wide. I reach up with my arms. I rotate my wrist joints in this direction and I open them out in a T. I rotate them in the opposite direction and I bring them up. Identify my right arm. Make a fist and unclench my right hand. Bring that right arm on my right knee. Reach over my head with my left arm. Two circles with that left arm. Mindfully sit up tall. Reach up with my arms, identifying my left arm, right, left wrist to uh, rotate those wrist joints in this direction and that direction. Make a fist and unclench a couple times. Bring that left arm on my left knee, reach over my head with my right arm. Two circles with my right arm. Always a breathing class. Slowly sit up tall. Bring those legs together. Close your eyes. Circle your arms up to the sky. Draw those palms together at your heart center. With humility, with gratitude and with joy. The light in me respectfully bows to the light in each one of you. Namaste.